channel if you're new here my name is Niara Alexis and we're gonna be doing a wash day today I am about two or three weeks out from the first time I relaxed this hair calendar year if you're new here I follow something called my hair calendar for me the start of a new year starts in September when I first relax my hair after the summer um just to answer a few FAQs, frequently asked questions that I get. I relax my hair about twice a year. So usually it's like the first week or so of September. And then I'll usually do it like sometime in December, like usually like towards the end of December, maybe early January. Um, and that is my relaxer schedule. After that, um, second time, I don't relax my hair anymore. And then come May, it's I have about like three to four months of new growth so I can go ahead and put in a protective style. I do wear protective styles frequently. Well, only in the summer really, unless I'm going to like some like hot tropical vacation, which I don't have planned. I, I would like to be going on some hot tropical vacations, but what can you do? And I wait until I have about three to four months of new growth um so that the style has something to anchor onto a lot of people say like relaxed styles like um with relaxed hair say that protective styles pull their hair out and i think it's because we're relaxing too close to when we are putting that protective style in so that is my schedule if you have any other questions i do have a protective style playlist that i will link down below for you guys um but you can always leave a comment as well if you guys don't follow me on tiktok you should if you don't have a tiktok i'm sorry i don't know what to tell you but i am going live on tiktok now every weekend when i do my hair so you guys are seeing this like delayed probably like a week or two after um tiktok is going to see this today um so it's something i've started doing where i'm going live like at least like two times a week or so on tiktok but i am doing my wash day in real time on tiktok as well so if it's something that you're interested in i would definitely check it out make sure you follow me for shampoo and conditioner i'm using the purality purology strength cure line um and then before that um i am going to use the verb dancer shampoo this is a new product that they just recently came out with and I do see my fair amount of dandruff when it starts to get cooler outside. So I'm going to be using this first. Then I'm going to use the Purology shampoo and then the uh, Purology conditioner. After I rinse out that conditioner, I am going to be using this mask. Now, I know I have mentioned on here to you guys before, like if you use a hair mask, you don't need to use a conditioner. Today, I am using both because I do feel like my hair needs a little extra something. Um, one thing I am committing or trying to commit myself to do this silk press season while I'm wearing my hair out is doing some sort of treatment almost every time I wash my hair. Last year, I feel like I got really lax and lazy. Like I saw a lot of breakage last year. Y'all know my edges was gone. Like everything was happening. And I think part of that has to do with like the lack of like treatments i was doing i was always trying to do my hair really fast so this is this is a higher end product i do just want to say i got this in pr actually i got all these products in pr except for one and i'll tell you which one it is um but this is from Guerlain. Guerlain, i can't see the cord is open it is their double r radiance and repair mask oh so that's the double r radiance and repair mask um, it says it's a radiance restoring and intense re intense yeah I can read <laughs> intense replenishing and it says it has black bee honey repair technology so we're gonna use this today I've never used it but I did feel like my hair needed some like reparative things it smells great what does the instruction say mix the two textures in the palm of your hand apply to wash and damp and also i am going to pick back up my affordable flat iron series so if there are any affordable flat irons that you would like me to try you're interested in seeing me do this silk press season grab the link for it and drop it in the comments um down below so i can go through and look at them because whatever you guys want to see that's what i want to put here on the channel but for leave-in this is the one product that i did not get in pr that i purchased myself this is the pantene pro vitamin essence weightless leave on treatment i have been consistently using this i've used this for every for like the last three wash days i've had 
and I really like it. I was also using it a lot like towards the end of me wearing braids. I was applying it to my hair every day. And last thing I'm using here is the Olaplex Bonding Number no. 7 oil. I just don't say that I'm not using the verb you know, no more, y'all. I do still like the verb. I'm going to pick her up at some point. Um, but I've just been using this because it is a heat protection oil as well. So I want to just make sure I get that in where I can. Like I said, I'm trying to be more diligent with the care. All right, y'all, we're back. We're gonna put, I hope you guys saw it okay. I was also on TikTok Live, so I wasn't paying as much attention to my other camera as I should have been. Apologies. So now we're gonna put our mask in. This is the Guerlain mask. I don't think that's right. Oh yeah, it's definitely not. Oof. Just wasted a lot of mask. So the thing with this mask is like two separate compartments in it. And you're supposed to squeeze both at the same time, but I guess you have to squeeze hard enough to get the middle one to come out. Okay, that's just how much I'm gonna use because I used so much of the other one up already. <laughs> Okay, uh, I know I said I wasn't gonna be really talking a lot, but I really like these two new products that I use. The shampoo was nice, um, smelled great, as all of our products do, and then I really like this. Um, the thing is, if you do get this though, make sure you squeeze like from the middle. Like I was just kind of like squeezing down here, and I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, there's two compartments. There's this white compartment in the middle, and then this like translucent one on the outside, and they hold different product. So you have to squeeze them together so that you get both at the same time and then you mix them together in your hand. Um, so I squeeze out a bunch of like the translucent one. 
So I don't know how that's gonna go for us later, but um, I like those so far. So now I'm about to go in straight and style my hair. I'm gonna be on TikTok Live if you see me talking. Um, so yeah. In my Amazon storefront, that's where you can find it, Chasing Comb, under the hair list. But you guys scroll all the way down. But if it's in there, get it, because it goes in and out of stock a lot. Building on another case, it just, which will force the prosecution to drop the case. They've offered to throw in an extra 500000 to the special education charity of your choice to you leave here with me. Ten? That is preposterous. You must... I'm sorry. I'm not here. One payment. I can sell nine no more. Oh. No. Um, we're straightening our hair. I'm using the GHD Platinum Plus. I need to, next time I do this, I need to leave a comment like that says like where all the products are. A scalp scrub, but then also once a week, this is one thing I find that helps the most with dandruff. Um, once a week, I, right before wash day, so like either like the night before or something, I put Jamaican black castor oil all over my scalp. You should, should coach the thing to the salon her. They do a bad job on type for her. Okay. I can't be coaching nobody. I'm nobody's trained professional. Um, I did seasons for through seven. Oh, girl. Okay. I won't say any spoilers. There are a few episodes in Scandal that I absolutely cannot watch. The first one. I'm not even gonna say, but there are a few episodes in Scandal when I know that episode is coming up, I skip right on over it because there's some some of my favorite char characters. And for a minute, Shonda was just kind of getting like, how can I shock them the most? And it was too much. It was too much. I watched it that like, first time, and I have never watched some episodes again. Just and you know which ones I'm talking about, so you, you know the ones. <laughs> 